Greetings, Guardians. Welcome your faces on back to the channel. It's been a minute. I've just been busy with stuff. Before I get started, today and yesterday have been crazy-ass developments going on within Bungie and within the Destiny community. And before we get started, I, I just want to say, all of you content creators out here who are now milking this for views, which equals money... And you're calling out the CEO for spending 2.3 million of his own money is fucking crazy. All right, we're just gonna jump right into it right now because I, I this has been a hot topic all fucking day uh, on YouTube. And quite frankly, it's crazy to me that you people in the content community have such an issue with the CEO, and you're pointing no fingers at anyone else within the company. Bungie, okay, had to lay off. I think it was 217%, roughly 17% of its workforce. But what people don't realize is they're getting severance packages, which is money to help them. You know, as you exit, you're getting paid out. You're, I don't, we don't know how much it is. Now, if you want to break down a company as a whole, you got your CEO, your CFO, C, CCO, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, whoever you know, everyone who is of the importance. Uh, but Pete. Whatever the fuck his last name is, we're just going to call him Pete. I don't even know if they put a twab out today. No, they only did this yesterday. So Pete Parsons is the CEO of Bungie. They had to roughly lay off 17%. 220 rolls, okay, is it will be estimated to be getting rid of. They're also going to be getting reference pays and a whole bunch of other shit, benefits and all that, since they got laid off. So 12% went into, or over, to Sony. Sony Interactive Entertainment. Sony put out a profit margin that Bungie needed to reach in order to keep going, or they, you know, the beforehand, they, when they had all these devs and everyone else up in arms that got laid off a couple months back, where everyone was up in arms again over this because Bungie made $3.6 billion now the and when they made the 3.6 billion when they got bought out, the way that is you any kind of structuring goes on is you're gonna pay all the employees basically are gonna get some sort of percentage of that money and then the rest will go to the company. Now everyone's saying the 2.3 million that Pete Parsons spent on his personal collection came from Sony. Those are some wild ass accusations. No one has access to his financial records. We don't know how much money he might have gotten when Sony was uh, buying out Bungie. So for people to sit here and say, oh, he's just wasting money. It's not the case. It, first off, if I went to work and I'm the employee and my employer is paying me, who's taking all the risk, who's got to generate all the revenue, who's got to do this, that, and third in order for me to get money, the CEO is just another fucking employee. Okay, just like a CFO, CEO, they're all employees. They all have a salary. The board of directors and the investors are the ones that make the decisions. Bungie, or Bungie is, has no say, really. It's all Sony now because after the lightfall flop, their revenue projection put them in the red and they're down 40% of where they should have been because of lightfall. And honestly... The final shape and marathon, the time that need to ensure both projects delivered uh, quality for players and expect, uh, ex you know, expect and deserve financial margins. Subsist, you know, basically, from reading this article, they're running in the red, which means they're hemorrhaging major money. So developing a game costs a lot of money. It's not, oh, you guys got 3.6 billion dollars, the money problems are solved. If, if, as I believe Sony bought Bungie before uh, Lightfall came out. So, Sony gave them profit margins to reach. It did not reach that. I'm sure with uh, the final shape, which quote unquote was raved about and has, quote unquote, well, well, let's put it this way it was given the highest praise from every person out there. But if you're already hemorrhaging money, you're not making any money. 
And what was happening at the studio from reading this article is that they put too many hands in too many pots, and they had to cut the cost. And unfortunately, that is the cost of doing business. Nobody is safe. It is a business at the end of the day. I'm not defending Pete. I am going to call out every single fucking YouTuber who keeps making these videos about Bungie and just milking it for views. Because honestly, if you want Pete Parsons to put his money back into the fucking company that he works for, you guys who make millions and millions of dollars, who made so much money from the fucking raid that came out recently from streaming it, that regardless if you donate at the charities or not, you are getting a fucking tax write-off on that money. And you're going to be getting even more money because of it. So let's stop that right there, okay? Secondly, okay, if you guys were so up in arms at the fact that he spent 2.3 million, how about you guys donate your money to the fucking studio so that way they didn't have to lose their fucking jobs? Regardless, they probably still would have lost their jobs because they have too many fucking projects that they're working on. Too many projects equals too much money going out all at once. You have Marathon, you have Destiny, you had other projects in the background that they didn't list because they ended up having to cancel them. Uh, but Destiny 3, for example, a lot of the leaks were saying Destiny 3 was coming, it was never coming. Okay. Uh, what you see from the final shape is what Destiny 3 would have been. Any footage that you might have seen was probably pre-alpha of the final shape. Period. But when you have a company that is a game developing company, which is a volatile industry in general, you don't know if that game's going to be a hit or a miss. You don't know what's going to happen. For all of us making these accusations just based upon the information that has been given to us, we don't know the whole story. We don't know what's going on behind the scenes. We only know what they've told us. And honestly, it's kind of ridiculous because... For us, I thought those were gunshots. I don't know if you guys heard that. Some of them fireworks off outside. <laughs> for uh, for a lot of us, we quick are quick to jump to conclusions. Uh, it is 100% unfortunate that they had to get rid of 230, 220 employees, and then 115 or 155 of those roles went and integrated with Sony Interactive. That's a total of. 300 and change here. And they still have 850 employees left. Now, we don't, I don't know if that's the whole Destiny team. I don't know if that's the Marathon team. I don't know if it's split up 425 on each team. More than likely. But when you are hemorrhaging so much money, it's such a loss. You need to make something drastic happen now. So what Sony is probably going to do is they're probably going to, honest to God, and they probably are meeting with the board of directors after this because for it to be this shit, um, board of directors is Sony, by the way, guys. Sony is a, pub is a public trade company. I don't believe Bungie is in the stock market, but because Bungie is now a part of Sony, they now answer to a board of directors once that happened. So, that that's how that works. But if you had to get rid of that many employees, which is 375 employees. That's a lot of people. A lot of these people, though, and almost all of them, anyone who got uh, laid off is going to get severance pay. They're going to be eligible for unemployment as well. They're going to keep their benefits. At the 155 that went to Sony, I'm sure got a pay increase. And I'm sure they got a whole bunch of stuff when they went to Sony. Now, that is good for them, but the people who got laid off, the 220 people... The Destiny community is sorry that you guys got laid off. I, I can see that with all your guys' videos that you keep posting and posting and posting. It's not going to change the fact that, as a business, if it don't make money, it don't make sense. If you're not making money, why the fuck would I keep you on? That's like me, if I was to go out and hire you, anyone as a contractor, and I needed work done on my house, and you did a shoddy-ass fucking job at a, at a project or whatever, because this happened to me recently, I just... I mean, my house just had its roof redone not that long ago. And during the winter, the wood that they put down, which was not correct, warped. What happened to that team because they fucking cut corners and did stuff? Their company fired them because they did not perform the tasks. They did not breach the goals. They did not get any of the shit done that they needed to get done. That is pretty much all it is. If you have too many pots, and I'll say each game costs roughly... 
a, f a couple million dollars to develop or however much, and you have senior directors who are making 220000 out of that, multiple of them. So let's just say, for example, 20 of the people that could have been fired were senior directors. So we take 20 and divide that by, let's just say, 200... No, let's not say 250. Let's say 200K... It's $4 million. Now, I don't know how many of the senior directors and or higher-up positions were eliminated, but $4 million, you just got $3.6 The people at the top, I'm sure, got incentives for the merger. And I'm sure that they uh, were all frugal with their money, but at the end of the day, they earned that money by successfully merging with Sony because Sony didn't just come in and was like we want to buy your company there was talks and I'm sure there was bidding too and Sony probably outbid Microsoft let's just be fair on that Sony definitely outbid Microsoft if Bungie went with Sony but I digress a lot of these people who are making videos honest to god don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about because they only have half the information Oh, we read this in the article, so now let's make a video about it and, and fucking call out the CEO. Find out who the CFO is. The CFO, who's the chief financial officer who handles all the money, the day-to-day -day operations, could have went through and done something to keep possibly all these employees. I'm sure the CFO and the CEO, anyone that's an executive, anyone at Sony, all sat down and tried to find the best solution. And unfortunately, the best solution would is because they had so many fucking teams working on it multiple different projects was to eliminate those teams it's it is what it is that is what happens when you are putting out more than you can handle and that is exactly what happened Bungie put out way more than they could handle 375 employees lost their jobs Bungie kept 800 well, actually, only 220 lost their jobs. 155 went to fucking Sony because I'm sure Sony was like, well, you, you know, they probably were like, okay, guys, so we don't want to get rid of everybody. The guys who have senior roles, we might be able to offer you some senior roles within Sony and within different aspects of our agency for gaming development. So 155 were able to get jobs. Out of the 220, they were not able to get jobs. Guardian, between you so, and me. I like Zavala's Moxie, but this, this ain't him. My core is right to be worried. I got a bad feeling too. So, if those people were not able to get jobs, Bungie offered them severances plus their benefits. So they're at least getting something. It's not like they didn't, were like, oh, well, here's the swift kick to your fucking dick, ass and tits. Uh, you guys don't deserve a fucking dime type deal. They offered them their severance packages. They offered them pay. But a lot of people just aren't, they're, they're speaking with their emotions and they're not speaking from a business perspective. So the CEO meets with his CFO, who then have a meeting with Sony's directors and CEOs, boards, everyone. Everyone's, even the investors I'm sure were in on this call. They're all probably trying to find the best solution. And unfortunately, Any this is the best solution for Bungie. Uh, a lot of people are also saying this is the end of Destiny. Honestly, I don't think so. I think what they're going to do is they're going to take it's a back going. burner on it until they can stop hemorrhaging the money. Hopefully, they can get to the green by the end of whatever Sony gives them. Uh, ultimatum of, hey, we're going to tell you guys you need to be in the green by X date. Or uh, we are going to close your studio and or we are going to completely dissolve Bungie and take over. That's probably what the ultimatum was. Was figure out how to get the money or the studios dissolve. That is what I would do if I was in the position of Sony. I'd tell them, listen, you guys, you guys fucked up. Uh, Lightfall was a flop. Final Shape, honestly, was a fucking flop. Both were delayed over longer than they needed to be delayed. Well, honestly, they should have been delayed longer. Both should have been delayed longer. Uh, the Final Shape, w or not the Final Shape, Lightfall was actually, wasn't even actually supposed to uh, be a premium DLC of what we got. That was just a filler content from what they had left over. That is why it's it's structured in a weird way when it comes to doing Lightfall. It's really structured weirdly, weirdly in that it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. There, uh, they, there's nothing they can do about it. 
I'm, I'm sure everyone's like, well, Pete, Pete Parsons is the CEO. He should resign. Uh, he, he just spent $2.3 million. Oh, everyone else owes out here fucking... Oh, can't do this, can't do that. Listen, guys. Okay, that's the same fucking thing. If I went and, and made all that money, who the fuck cares what I spend my money on? It's not your guys's. It's not my decision. You know, it's the person's has the money. They own that money now. You can't just be like, oh, well, you spent X, Y, and Z on this, this, and this, and then didn't, didn't give us any money to fix the problem. Well, they did. But unfortunately, they had so many goddamn things going on behind the scenes, and we again, we don't know this what's going on behind the like scenes because we don't work there. We are making assumptions of the what's going on. on we need to stop They're making assumptions right. and crashingly. Sony is everywhere. good for Bungie, okay? Sony has a great track record with games. I don't think there's been one game from Sony that has flopped. The only track record I will say about Sony, uh, and... and Unfortunately, it is what it is. I believe it's Sony Santa Monica, which released Days Gone, which was a fantastic game, and then they, they fucked around with Ben Studio, and I'm pretty sure they fired everyone that fucked around with Ben Studio. I don't know. Uh, Days Gone was a fantastic game. Love that game. Actually gonna bring it to the channel for a Let's Play. Would you fuck off with the fireworks? Jesus Christ! So... Uh... More is the, in development for this. This situation that is ongoing. Uh, at the end of the day, we gotta think to ourselves, what does that mean for Destiny 2? And a lot of people are thinking, fuck, this is the end of Destiny 2. We don't have a game anymore. Uh, honestly, Destiny 1 went on for years. Destiny 2 is gonna go on for a couple more years. They already released. Destiny 2 Beyond. Blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure once we get the final expansion or front whatever Frontiers might be, that is gonna be the end of Destiny 2. Like, it wouldn't make... It would make sense if they kept it going more like a WoW situation, to where uh, they just keep doing premium content releases every year. Or how many years? It's like fucking five, every five years or some shit. I don't know. I haven't played WoW in a long time, so I don't I don't know what the uh, premium releases are like for WoW. But that is the... Uh, ultimately, if you're going to go in the, co the, the direction of WoW... WoW's model, that's what they should have looked at before. You know, Destiny should take one from WoW and start structuring their shit like WoW instead of just throwing shit out there willy-nilly. That doesn't make fucking sense. But, I digress. Should Pete Parsons have be crucified? No. Not just him. Okay, I'm not saying don't crucify him. What I'm saying is, is you guys are putting all of this on him when there is a bigger picture, which is... CEO, CFO, let's see, let's look up Bungie's leadership. Bungie leadership. And see what we got going on at the Bungie executive team. Bungie executive team. Pete Parsons. When was this written? Updated a couple months ago? Oh shit. So according to this company, the whatever website I'm on right now, this is a rating of the, the leadership at Bungie. The Bungie executive team is rated an F, which is really shit. Uh, led by CEO Pete Parsons, Bungie employees rate their executive team at the bottom of 5% of a similar size company on a company probability with 201 to 500 employees the design department and employees with one to three years experience or more are confident in their executive team while employees with over 10 years experience and employees with three to six years think there is room for improvement out of a out of their five competitors microsoft ubisoft activision arianet game slam bungie is ranked in fourth place of those five so here is the Bungie's key executives. E. Parsons, Danielle Porter, Executive Principal Producer, Donia Sherrods, Chief People Officer. The fuck is that role? Chief People Officer at Bungie. Amy, Amy Johnson has served as Chief... What is their salary? That's I wonder if this shows their salary. No, it doesn't. I don't even know what the hell this job is. 
What, what even is a fucking chief person officer? What, what do you do? <laughs> what is that fucking job? Chief people officer? CFO, chief strategy, and chief operations officer. What is a first person people officer? It's their HR. Okay, so that's their HR department person. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people who are in positions of high up in the company. Uh, the executive principal producer, I'm pretty sure, is like an assist assistant. Not too sure. Okay, so there, she should be on the chopping block too, as she is in charge of. I might have actually just fired this woman. Not too sure. Let's look her up on the Twitters. <laughs> nope. Nothing on here on her Twitter about leaving Bungie or anything like that. Just that her, uh, Co-worker Ziggler, he's a dev. Last nine months he spent been working on Marathon as a game director. It was fun, baking, but I'll share with you more info on the game as we get closer. So he's basically just saying, update everybody, here's what we've been working on the last nine months. Woo! And that was on March 19th. So, <laughs> you bet you guys can see how stupid I was just acting. So, stop asking me, goddamn it, I'm not giving So, T. Parsons, President, CFO, this is Chief Financial Officer. Uh, we had the Executive Producer, who's in charge of making the schedules and everything at Bungie. So, you gotta look at this as a whole, because you know HR was in on this goddamn shit, too. The Chief Creative Officer was in this call, too. Chief Strategy Officer, the person who makes the strategies for Bungie to fucking succeed. All these people are under fucking Pete Parson. Pete Parson is only as good as his fucking team is. If his team's a bunch of fucking morons, he's not gonna fucking be able to fucking do his job the correct way. And that is where b fucking Sony came in and gave them the ultimatum of, listen, we, we, we want to keep you guys on board, but if you don't produce, we're gonna start letting some of your employees go, and that's exactly what happened here. They didn't produce, they didn't make money, fucking happens, that's just how it is. And it, it's it, Gaming industry is no different than a fucking nine to five job. You make money. You, pr you, you make shit that you produce to make money. Let's see, you guys. Well, let's see how much do you guys think it costs them to produce the final shape? I'm going to assume a couple million dollars, but I could be wrong. It could be more. I'm going to assume roughly Well, there is nothing in here saying how much it costs them on the back end. So we'll just go up to not even Bungie, we'll just see how much does it cost to make a video game. So it can range from 20,000 to 5 million. So, 5 million plus 5 million is a billion. They only got 3 billion dollars. And if they're make, trying to. If they were. Makes fucking sense. It makes fucking sense that they had to get rid of these people. They had too many shit. Too much shit going on. If they all were working within a 5 million dollar budget, there was no money left over for anything. Bungie's leadership and dev team. And their CFO should have fucking stepped in and shut this shit off sooner than later, because now they are going... Now the people who were your backbone of whatever the fuck they were working on no longer have the backbone to stand on. Uh, some games can uh, cost up over a hundred million dollars to develop. That's just how it goes. If, if, if you're expecting... Now, I don't know the total player count of Bungie. But I know myself, I spent a hundred and eight dollars or nine dollars because of the taxes. If 
let's just say a hundred thousand people bought the hundred dollar edition. Hundred thousand times that by one hundred bucks. That's ten million dollars. Now for the final shape being such a massive DLC, I'm sure it cost them uh twenty million, maybe, to produce. I don't know. I'm just making guesses here. Like everyone else is on fucking YouTube right now making guesses of and, and slandering all these people at Bungie. Fuck you guys, seriously. Fuck every single one of you. I love all your guys' content, but your guys' opinions are fucking dog shit at the end of the fucking day. They're there to make money. We are there to buy their product. We are the consumers. We do have a voice in this. We have always had a voice in this. The consumers have a voice, and if the consumers aren't happy, which we were not happy with the final shape, not the final shape, Lightfall, we were not happy with Lightfall, and a lot of people actually were... This, some people were displeased even with the final shape. Uh, present company included with how they structured the fucking seasons out, which is honestly losing them money too. Because, realistically, you gave us this, this great fucking DLC. And for a lot of people like myself who are hardcore into Destiny, take weeks off, take a week off from work to play it, get through it. Then we do the raids, then, then you know, like... The, the, the content gating that they have going on to where it's limited content and you gotta wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. No one wants that. That's the bad structure. It honestly came down to the dev team and I'm sure it comes down to the strategy department too. I digress. This video is a lot longer than I wanted to make it. But if you guys have any opinions on the whole topic, please let me down down below because honestly, this is a hot topic. I'm not gonna milk it. This is probably the only one in video I make of this bullshit because I don't give a fuck. At the end of the day, if something changes, I'll cover it. But, as of right now, it doesn't affect anybody in the fucking Destiny 2 community other than the people who fucked up with their projects. Uh, it is what it is. You fuck up, you get, you get fucking disciplined, and unfortunately, some just, I'm sure, you know, layoffs weren't disciplined, but layoffs happen because companies are in the fucking red. They're not making money. That's just, at the end of the day, you gotta make money. If you're not making money, it doesn't make fucking sense to keep hemorrhaging out money the way they were hemorrhaging. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video and you got any thoughts on this, please leave it down below. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hope none of you unsubscribe because of my opinions. But if you do, thank you for stopping by. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.
Looks like that hive finally caught up to us. Guardian down. Kanua, Genji.
Zavala. We did it. 